All right, since we all just got here, I'll let you warm up for a bit. The phase three. All right, feel good. We're good? Yeah, ready when you are. Stretch. <laughs> okay. So you haven't been bowling a lot? No. Just a couple tournaments? Yeah, a couple tournaments yeah, in the last, well, May and July, and then, uh, yeah, haven't touched anything since. Okay, we'll see what we can do. Yeah. Probably feeling pretty sharp. Razor sharp. Yeah. Yeah, just throw a few shots. I'll watch. I'll watch from here. I'll watch a few from the side. And... Is there anything that you have been working on, or is there historically something that's kind of given you more trouble, or have you had coaching in the past? Urethane. Urethane. You don't and like urethane. I, no. Things that give me problems in the past are like the extremes. Like I don't lost the ball. Yeah. If you put a wall on the foul line, it's gonna hit it. Yeah. Yeah. You kind of go down. On, yeah. Down into the lane. Extreme right or extreme left. Okay. So pretty comfortable, like second to fourth arrow, maybe, but. Yeah, even like a little bit closer to like fifth, I can okay. get okay with, but like, yeah. other than that, like, right. our friend Mark always likes to call me like the big dog. Yeah. That's yeah. why, like, that's, that's my wheelhouse. Yeah, where you're setting your feet right now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> if I can stay here, I stay here as long as I can. Yeah. I'm sure glad we got that one on okay. <laughs> Let's throw, because you talked about the extremes, let's throw a few shots from further right. Okay. Um, obviously, it's just a house shot out there, but um, not worried so much about what the ball's gonna do on the lane. Just kind of want to see what it looks like. Try to go like right of second arrow if you can. Okay, you want me to just like throw like my, a normal shot? Yeah, start with a normal shot. Oh. Let's strike from anywhere. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> What's that seven arrow yeah. challenge they do? Do that again. Try to be a little bit straighter if you can. Okay. So move your feet a little further right. I don't bowl on stuff that demands to be that far right a lot. I'm, I don't feel like uncomfortable there. It's just not. It doesn't happen very often. Yeah. yeah. It's not like, it's probably like B or C. Yeah. I try yeah. not to be there if yeah. I can. Right. Let's say this is the pattern you're bowling on, but like, for some reason, you're you're not allowed to move from that spot. What would you try to What would you try to do different to, to make that work? To try to get to the pocket from there. Keep my hand like, like behind a little bit more, like try to roll it. A little more, yeah. Little yeah. Rollier. Okay. Let's let's see what that looks like. Is there anything specifically that you want to work on, or that you want to take a look at, or any big glaring things? And then yeah, I just need to yeah, because I was shut talking about. <laughs> I don't know if I can throw it worse. Just getting your chest here. I was gonna say with the rubber on my chest here. Okay, so we went from like a one out of 10. If we can throw something at least at like the level. Let's like try to get at least a six out of 10 on this one. You have high expectations. I was gonna say four <laughs> or five, okay. but. Gradual improvement. Yeah, like that's like, give me small steps to start. I feel like Mitch there. Yeah, that'd definitely be in like the six plus category from there for me. Yeah. And like you've been, you've been pretty competitive before. Like you, you've been a tournament bowler, and you obviously yeah. bowled for Team Canada. You bowled the World Cup, um, so you have all the tricks. It's just now you're not bowling as much, and so you're trying to find a way to find a way to keep that consistency somehow without like bowling as much. Then we bowl like one weekend a month, and then a couple of days during the months of warm up, yeah, and then. Right. Yeah, so it is, I mean, obviously it's tough if you're, if you're not, if, if time isn't allowing you to like practice all the time, it's gonna be tough to be as competitive as yeah. you once were. Yeah, I fully um, understand that But part. your game is, your game is simple enough. Like you, I mean, you said you haven't bowled in a while and you've thrown what, 10 shots and now you're, you're throwing the ball pretty good. I mean, some shots, right? There's gonna be some error shots yeah. in there. I think that the simplicity to your game. I feel like I've good. always like shaken off the rust, so to say, like fairly quickly. Yeah. Um, I can see that. Even like even going back to college, like college, I practice three days a week, a couple nights a league. Like well, I've never been a huge practice guy. Yeah, yeah. Like I'd rather like bowl my way out of a slump than like go to lanes and put in hours and hours and hours right. of practice in. Yeah. It's like oh, you're not bowling very well. Bowl another tournament. Yeah. Bowl league. Bowl another tournament right. and just grind your way out of it. Yeah. Never been a fundamental it's, guy. It's, it's one thing. Yeah. Yeah. Well, even though I mean I, I wouldn't say your fundamentals are bad per se. You're like I said, your game's pretty simple. I think obviously the 
the more often you bowl, just naturally you'll get a little sharper. Yeah. So um, dusting off the rust, I can see you doing that pretty quickly, but just not bowling as much or as often, like it, that's the main thing is going to be like consistency. That the other thing is like having your eye. If you're bowling all the time, like you, you're pretty quick at seeing moves and seeing kind of where you need to play on. If you're bowling on sport patterns or anything yeah, like that. Yeah, that's why I have. That's why you got jungle. Yeah. yeah. It's nice to be told what to do sometimes. I don't have to do yeah. all the thinking, but. Yeah. Obviously, kind of tricky to play there on a house pad. Yeah. Just trying to trying to go to those extremes, like you were talking. Yeah. About. That one felt better. That was a pretty good shot. Yeah. Still, still a little bit, uh, still a little bit of rotation for being like for playing that angle, kind of in that part of the lane. So I would try to. Is what it do like you, a what setup? Like some of my stuff that it could of... be an alignment thing. I think you're yeah. you're normally pretty square to the lane. I think if anything, you, you I can see you struggle a little bit more from like further left and opening up your angles. You've got some natural angle. Like when you started bowling on just on the house shot, you've got naturally you want to get the ball that way. Yeah. Um, but when you're setting up, you're naturally pretty square. So I don't really think that's a big issue for playing straight. I think if anything, like you might want to open up a little bit a little bit more once you move left. Yeah to help you project the ball that way. What do you focus on, like, if you're trying to get more forward, keep your hand more up the back, what, how do you do that? How do you achieve that? Uh, usually with setup and hand position, like, normally like, I'm on the side, but like, when I try to play straight, like, square my shoulders up a little bit more and then keep my hand more, like, yeah. this way versus like this. So you just focus on kind of how you set up? Yeah. And then you go, okay. So I would say the main thing with that is a lot of people, most people, and I see it a little bit with you, most people, when they set up a certain way, as soon as they take their first step, their hand goes back to their original position. So then, if you're only if you're only focusing on your setup, as soon as you start moving, your hand moves. That kind of defeats the whole purpose. And you get there, and yeah, it's a little bit more forward because it's in the back of your mind to try to do that. But I would try to I would try to really focus on different things like at the release at the release so that you can do that. So try to see if you can get your like when you're releasing the ball, see if you can get your thumb to go like more towards your index finger or something. Okay. There's there's a lot of different ways. Different people think about it differently, so we might have to try a few different things. But yeah, try to get your thumb to go like towards your towards your index finger at release. See if that helps. That was different. Yeah, it looks like it's more. Yeah, get that feel for where the ball is on your hand at the release point. That'll help you with different hand positions too. Because like I said, a lot of people, most people, if you set up a certain way, as soon as you start moving, you kind of go through your approach and then the hand goes back to the original Go back position. to what you normally are. Yeah, exactly. So that kind of doesn't really do anything. I'm trying to feel the weight of the ball in certain parts of your hand. So if you want to be more forward, just maybe try to feel the ball more this way. Just kind of roll down this finger. Oh, okay. Keeping your hand like on the inside of it. Just really up to you what feels, what makes more sense to you, what you can feel better. Yeah, I think like trying to get the feel like off my index finger, I think that like feel like roll off this way versus yeah. like. Right. Yeah, it's just really feeling feeling where the weight of the ball is when you're when you're at the release point, and letting go of it. But then, yeah, for you, it might just be focusing on the weight of the ball. And like if you go if you go left, we'll throw a couple more there. But if you go left, like trying to feel the ball, kind of go down this way so your hand kind of goes around it. I think if you can if you can focus on that feel at the release rather than just how you're setting up, it'll be a little bit more consistent. I hope you got that. One of the things I noticed, so you tend to have kind of early timing. Um, yes, and when you're extremely at, early. Yeah, pretty early timing. And when you're at the line, you kind of tend to lean forward a lot, which I think sometimes can lead to like kind of getting the ball down into the lane a little bit. Other people maybe like kind of lift up to try to compensate for that. Yeah. You don't necessarily do that. You just kind of lean forward That's a little bit. That's my miss though. So your miss is is if standing up yeah yeah right yeah so that creates like unnecessary movement from this way to that way so i think if that comes from your early timing kind of going getting the ball into the swing but you're also just dropping the ball down into your push away 
So when you do that, sometimes the upper body kind of follows okay. the ball. So I, I want to see you try to like, you don't have to like push it straight in front yeah, of you. Like old school? But like, just, right, but just kind of like get this? it like, no, exactly. I don't want to see, I don't want to see all that, but just like getting it, getting it a little bit sort of a, like a hinge. Okay. Yeah, see, a little, just, a little I, bit in front of you before it goes down. Yeah, not just this And way, right? see if that helps you kind of stay straighter throughout the first couple steps. Okay. This is going to feel weird. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was... Uh, one, one step here, I'm like, oh no. That was something different. That was, yeah. It's got the 510 out. Yeah, five into the 10 too, messenger. There's no pictures on the scorecard, right? Yeah. Like I said, you don't have to like push in front, but just kind of get it, just hinge a little bit more than just dropping it straight down. Hinge would have gotten a 10 out, I think. I don't necessarily think that that's gonna keep you straighter throughout, but I think if you try to keep your if you try to keep your chest facing the pins a little bit more, maybe think of it that way instead of so still kind of try to still try to get this into the start of your incorporated into the start of your swing instead of just dropping it down, but also throughout your approach, see if you can feel like your chest facing the pins a little bit more instead of facing down towards the foul line. Yeah, like towards the pins, towards the pins is kind of a way to exaggerate you staying straight the whole time. But yeah, kind of towards your target a little so bit. So like more. not going this way or are we talking about like not going this way? Yeah, we're talking about not going down this way. So okay, so you, two days to the pins, not to the floor. You tend to, yeah, so you tend to have your chest facing like more towards the foul line at okay. the release point. We want you to be a little bit straighter with your weight on top of your legs a little bit more. Okay. So keeping the chest facing the pins throughout. Yeah, so if you're doing that, it'll it'll kind of help you keep the ball behind the ball a little more. So you'll be able to not necessarily, not ne not like loft it per se, but you'll be able to project it onto the lane a little bit more so than just getting it down into the lane. <laughs> that feels so bad. <laughs> it looks like it feels weird. It does feel weird, <laughs> yeah, it does. That's what it looks like from here. Yeah, so I think doing that too, so there's a couple things that happen. It'll keep your hand behind the ball a little longer, giving you a longer flat spot. But then you also will have a little bit less of this movement at the line. If you're already in this position, I mean, unless you like really straighten out your knee, you're not gonna go up a whole lot. So that it just kind of gives you more leverage. It keeps everything keeps everything more stable going into the, into the release, which hopefully translates to more consistency for someone that doesn't practice at all. Ever. It's not true, not ever, <laughs> like, seldom. Yeah, seldom. I think there's, I think there's some hope for you after all. Senior team, here I come? Senior team, yeah. Oh, we call them the masters now. The how, masters, masters. masters. How, long in, how long until you're eligible for Was that 50? 50. Uh, six more years. Six years. I think I might have this down in the next six years. Yeah, probably. Six years at uh, four practice sessions a year. Well, when it comes to That's tournaments, four like, practice sessions. Like, it, sounds like, it, 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 it sounds like a month for you. Close. We will say though, like when there are tournaments, like I do, like I do put in some work yeah, and some a time. Bit, a little bit ahead of time. Um, because I just hate losing to Jung, so <laughs> I, can I, I put some work in and put the time in to get. So I'm yeah. not like. Oh, I haven't bowled in three months. Okay, we're going to bowl a turn, right? So. so you remember how to get the ball off your hand and yeah. the, basics, the basics of the game. Stay behind the line, all right. that fun stuff. Yeah. If you know he's famous for fouls. That felt like more upright, like. Yeah. Like it's it's a yeah, it's a notice it is it's a noticeable difference from what you were before. Like kinda this way, getting the ball, like your swing goes down and you're getting the ball into the lane like this. Now you're a little bit more upright, your weight's more on top of your legs, so you can swing the ball a little better next to your body and get, like I said, a longer flat spot. Your hand stays behind the ball a little bit longer. Yeah. I don't know. I haven't really been paying attention to that, so oh, I'll, okay. I'll watch the next couple. Uh, some other guy who's here. That was an issue with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, it's so, like, this is normal. Yeah, that's your normal, which is like kind like, of. Literally like in my sternum. Inside, yeah, like, exactly. Now, move it this way a little bit more. Like, 
that. Yeah, like that's good. You can kind of bring this back a little bit so it's a, a little bit more comfortable. A little bit more this way even. Yeah, okay. So now that should, with this shoulder a little bit lower, that should allow you to sit it it next to your body. It is, it is, okay. yeah. Nice. Split the 8-9, I'm done. That looks pretty good. He won't, he won't have to start playing pickleball just yet. He can stick with bowling for a little while longer. Too old, bro. Yeah, kind of what I thought was going to happen. I want to see what it looks like if you can just get your feet going slower and see if you can keep your hand in the same spot you normally have it in. All right. So just really focus on the feet only. Just try to walk as slow as you can. I know I just said we want to focus on only one thing. <laughs> because we've been doing something else, we're going to try two things. I want you to still like really slow your feet down. And it's not a bad idea if you want to scoot up a little okay. bit. That way your, your steps will be shorter, so it'll kind of help you walk slower. Um, but just make sure that your chest is still facing that way. Because now, obviously, you're just focusing on the feet, so you kind of had a tendency to go back to this on the last couple. That's why the ball kind of went into the ground a little bit more. But move up, yeah. Nice. This is your wheelhouse, Johnny Big Dot. That's the wheelhouse. <laughs> I can leave those all day with this ball. <laughs> I'll watch from the side. Can't, it can't end it on a bad one. No, exactly. Really, what you should have is Junction drilled me a new ball for this lesson. <laughs> or yeah. while, they're, while they're watching this ball not be the right ball, should drilled me the right ball. That felt way better. That was good. That was good. You're, when, you, when you got to the line, instead of your head being in front of your, of your foot, it was like right on top of it. One more good one. All right. Jordan, how come you didn't drill me the right ball for this lesson? It's been a while since I've had a ball day in the shop. There's plenty of, plenty of space. That one felt good, too. That was pretty good. I think that's, I think those, those couple things are key for you. If you kind of keep this more in front here, uh, it'll allow you to swing the ball next to your body and not have that extra movement going yeah. this way and back. Um, and then just making sure your weight, your upper body weight is on top of your legs a little more, so staying straighter yeah, so throughout your approach, as opposed to lean, leaning over that much. The really good shots that you throw is when you're at the line and like your, your head, your body's on top of your legs and your head is like on top of your, on top of your foot. The, the ones that really get down into the lane, you're kind of leaning So this isn't a good position to be at at the line? <laughs> exactly, you want to be a little bit more on top of your legs. Just better leverage, better control of the ball, better launch angles, all that stuff. And keeping your hand, by being this way, you keep your hand behind the ball a little more, and you lengthen that flat spot, which gives you more control. So all right. I would really focus on those things if I were you. Cool. Thanks. Cool. No problem. Appreciate it. Senior team, here I come. Senior team, six years. 30 practice sessions from now. 30? You just updated with 24.